Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Liz, and in today's video, we're gonna be doing all new Dollar Tree DIYs that are perfect for summer. I would say my favorite thing this year that I have found at Dollar Tree are these cool little hanging shelves. I find these at places like Five Below and you see them in all the stores, but to find them for a dollar is so awesome. So I picked up three of them at Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna be making a simple continuous shelf and I wanted to show you how to do that. So you're gonna keep one of your shelves completely intact. Then you're going to take another shelf and you're going to cut the strings off at the top wherever that metal piece is. I just took the metal piece out and cut it at the top. Next, I'm going to leave my shelf that I have intact the way it is. And then with the shelf that I cut, I'm gonna take those pieces of twine and I'm going to tie them around the knots at the bottom of my top shelf. Once I tie a knot, I'm also going to add in some hot glue just to hold them and make them really secure. Now the thing that you wanna make sure is that your shelf is as level as possible so that when you add decor to this, it's not gonna fall off. You're gonna repeat those same steps with another shelf on the bottom. Now you could make this as tall as you want it. I just added in the three shelves. Now I knew I would have questions on how to decorate this. So I wanted to show you guys me actually decorating this. So I think with a shelf like this, you wanna pick similar items. So I went with terracotta pots since it's spring and summer, and I added terracotta pots to all three of my shelves. Then I added in a little bit of greenery, and I'm also going to be using accent white pieces just to kind of tie the whole look together. When you do a shelf like this, you just wanna make sure that you pick similar colors so it all looks cohesive. And here's a look at how the shelf turned out. So for this next project, I love the way this turned out. You wanna get any planter from Dollar Tree. I suggest getting one that's as straight as possible. I know they're not all straight. This one kind of does one of these, but just try to get it as straight as possible because we're gonna be gluing stuff to the edges and it's gonna be easier if we can get it to lay as flat as possible. Next, I have this pack of shims that I bought at Home Depot. You get them in like a pack of 50 and they're just a couple of dollars. I've used these for so many projects, you guys. So I'm gonna start with my pack of shims and I'm going to measure out how long a piece is to cover my planter and I'm gonna mark it at the bottom. I used my simple wire cutters to cut this. You could use your saw. I don't think regular scissors are gonna be good enough to cut it. So I'm gonna cut off a shim then I'm going to measure out additional shims to cut off. So I'm gonna cut out enough shims so that I can get all the way around my planter. Next, I wanted it to kind of have like a fun multi-stain look. So some of the containers I stained with a natural color, others I added in kind of like my medium golden oak color. I also use special walnut for the darker color. I'm just going to put one coat of stain on there, wipe off the excess. Let the stain dry completely. Next, we're gonna go back in and we're gonna hot glue these on. Now with some of the pieces, there's going to be an overlap. That's okay, you know, that's just gonna have to happen. And you're just going to hot glue them on and hold them, you know, until they kind of set up before you move on to the next one. Don't worry if this looks a little rugged, that's kind of the point of it, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Now I wanted to add some legs to the bottom, so I got out some of my wood beads. I'll link to the ones I used down in the description box, and I'm just going to hot glue them to the bottom. You could add a real or faux plant, but I think this planter is super cute. Yeah, 
Do you guys ever check out the candle section at Dollar Tree? I really feel like they've been stepping up their game lately with some awesome like decorative candles. I was so excited to find these little decorative candles. I thought this kind of like peach, blue, and yellow colors were just perfect for spring. So I couldn't pass them up. So I grabbed these three containers. I wanted to make them a little bit more modern. So this is definitely an easy five minute DIY you can do. So I grabbed a metallic gold paint that I had in my stash, and I'm just going to paint around the bottom edge of these containers. I thought that it would kind of update these candles a little bit and give them more of a modern look. And I ended up doing two coats of this gold paint. And here's a look at how these candles turned out. Did you guys know I have a Facebook group, Liz Femic DIY? It's a great community where everyone kind of posts their own DIY projects. You can get feedback from the group. You can also ask your DIY related questions. So if you're not a member, you may want to come check us out because we have quite a few members and you get a lot of inspiration. I was really inspired by the colors in the candles that I just created to create this next project. So I grabbed six gold frames from Dollar Tree. I also picked up some of their floral stems in like a peach, yellow, and blue color. I'm gonna start by removing the backing of all the frames and I'm gonna take out the glass because I'm going to need two sheets of glass for each of my frames. I'm also gonna pull out those little backing pieces on the back. I don't know exactly what those are called, but you don't need those. Next, I'm going to lay a piece of glass down, making sure that it's really clean. And I'm gonna take some of my florals and just create a little floral design on there. Now, the thing I learned from doing this is that it has to be fairly flat because if you want to sandwich both pieces of glass together, it's gonna have to be flat. So I grabbed some florals and on each of my frames, I concentrated on one color. I hot glued the flowers to the glass. Once I had the colors that I wanted, I then took another piece of glass and sandwiched it together. You're going to want to add hot glue to hold this all together on your frame. You can do that by just adding a little bit of hot glue on the edge. You can also make it even more secure by adding in some E6000. This will help it hold really well. And I repeated this step for all three of my frames. Now, to take it a step further, I wanted to have something cute to hang it with. So I grabbed this plant hanger at Dollar Tree. I went out and spray painted it with a coat of gold spray paint. Next, I'm just going to disassemble this plant hanger and then use one of the hangers for each of my frames. And I'm just going to hot glue it to the back using a generous amount of hot glue. From there, I let it set and dry completely, and then you can hang this on your wall. And I think this is just a really cute arrangement for spring and summer. You guys may be noticing a color trend here. I was just really inspired by these colors when I was shopping. I saw these adorable little containers, and I'm not gonna do a DIY with it, but I wanted to get these for you to show you guys how you could update your office or just different areas of your house for really inexpensive to kind of make it look seasonal. So these are really fresh for spring. You could add in markers, scissors on your office desk. And I think these are so adorable for spring. Another really cool thing I found at Dollar Tree that's new are these cute little rocks. I knew I had to pick them up and do a little project with them. You're gonna need any glass container for this project. Mine is from Walmart. They don't sell a similar container to this at Dollar Tree, but really you could use anything, anything you had on hand. So I'm going to add some rocks to the bottom of my container. 
Next, I'm going to add in a succulent. You can use a Dollar Tree succulent. This is an air plant that I have from Walmart and I think it's just adorable. This is a quick one minute DIY that you can use to create a really fun planter in your house. Next, I grabbed some beads from the craft section at Dollar Tree. I also grabbed some fishing line that I had on hand because I wanted something that was clear and you wouldn't be able to see whenever I was making these. So I started by taking one color, it doesn't matter whichever color you wanna use, and I'm gonna put a bead on it. I'm gonna tie a knot with a clear fishing line around that bead. That's gonna create the bottom portion so I can add additional beads on. I added on 50 beads onto the fishing line. Once I was done doing that, I tied it off again at the top. I'm then going to take the end and start twisting it together, adding a little bit of hot glue as I go. I'm gonna be really careful to not get any hot glue on the top because that's the portion you're gonna be able to see. As you're doing this, if you can get the hot glue on like that inside edge, that's all the better. So I'm gonna keep wrapping it until it's completely wrapped up. Then I'm gonna to go to the back and add on some additional hot glue. You can repeat this in multiple colors. If you haven't noticed by now, I made these into really cute coasters that you could set out on your table. So I'm dying to know which of these projects was your favorite. Let me know down in the comments. I love your feedback. That helps me with future projects. And if you're new here, you have to subscribe. I post two DIYs each week. It's completely free to subscribe. So go hit that red subscribe button. It really helps me out and I appreciate it. And if you missed our last video, I'll link it here for you and I'll talk to you guys in our next one. Bye.